Right, let's have a look at this massive grow what battery thing. We'll see if we can get something. I know what the problem is. We put these three screws at the bottom. This should come off. Just like that. And we've got batteries in there. So I'm just going to quickly see if I can find out what the problem is. I'm just going to test some voltages. Three point eight, that's good. 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 Three point eight, that one's good. Three point eight, that one's good. So I've got to look under here now. Looks like they've took these BMS wires off before. So, just took these away. Let's get this board off. So I'm going to disconnect the main positive. Now I've got the balance wires off, I'm going to disconnect the main negative. Oh, that could have stayed on actually. Disconnect the main negative. Three point six four. It's good. It's a good amount. That. Let's take this board off. In fact, I'm going to isolate these because they are highly dangerous. A little bit of tape to cover them up. Temporarily, so let's remove this board. Test these remaining cells now. Three point eight, it's good. Three point eight, that one's 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 good. 3.8, that one's good, and 3.8, so they're all, all them cells are good, they've got a good voltage, so the problem with this is this board, so I'm going to have to figure out what the problem with that board is. Just 
just with one. I'm going to pop it back together with a couple of screws just to see what output voltage we get. Always click the negative first with BMSs. Once you've connected the negative, you can then start connecting the BMS guy balls. So that's them. And then you connect the positive. his test button or wake up button whatever it is nothing so we've got voltage here 53.65 Good. So these are turned off. For some reason, this BMS is saying no, you're not going to work. But I can't see why, because all the batteries are the same voltage, a good voltage. So the problem being one of these specs not working properly or one of these have shorted out and it's causing an error but we're getting zero power up there hmm very strange so what i'm going to do is i'm going to swap this board for another board luckily i've got another one and then we'll see what happens then I magically appeared another board right there. So let's get this one disconnected. Also, gotta be really careful with these cables sit because these two are still live. silicon. Someone's been playing with this before. Pulled out. New board in. In fact, before I put the new board in, I'm just going to test these balance wires. Just to make sure there's no issues, I'm going to start from the black one. Black to yellow did nothing. What? There's no voltage coming through on here then. What's that about? black one goes to this angle one 
What's your feelings about me? Oh, I'm not on voltage, am I? What into it? I have to put the right setting on, doesn't it? <laughs> Check you got the right setting on your meter before you start messing. So, 3.8, 7.6. Eleven point four, go back to one to four, three point eight, yeah, seven point six, yeah, seven point four, right, three point eight, seven point six, seven point four, buzz in, and this one, start with the black one, three point eight, seven six, eleven five. 3.8, 11, 7.6, and 11, 5. 3.8, 7.6, beautiful. So they're all right. So there's nothing wrong with the balance wires. There's nothing wrong with the cells. All I can think is that there might be an issue with the temperature sensors. But let's just get this on and see and what we'll do first. We'll connect the main positive, main negative first before anything else. Everything else can connect after. Or even status lock. Oh, I pulled the connector off that one. Off the other board. Put that back on. Yeah, pulled the connector off. That can just slide straight on. Pop it in them holes. There we go. Back on as if it never happened. So I've got my negative on. That's tight. And the negative here. Not that that needs to be on. I'm not using it just yet. All right, so I'm gonna connect these. I'm going to connect this one, and then this one, and hopefully no smoke magically appears from anywhere, which it hasn't. I suppose I should bolt this board down so it doesn't roll around. I like that they use all the same screws. Same screws everywhere for everything. Right, uh, main negative. Let's just pop this on here. Main positive, even. Let's put the main positive on. And again, hopefully, no magic smoke appears anywhere. If that works now, there we go. So we get a status light flashing. Now that's probably flashing and saying that there's a problem with the temperature sensors because I haven't connected them. So there's a problem. I'm just taking the temperature sensors off the old board. Three. 
hopefully, hopefully we should get some kind of an output. Not yet, let's just turn it off and back on again, see what that does. That's turned off, and turn it back on, see what happens. So get a red light of death. power hmm so there's still an issue with this board as well wonder what that could be so obviously I've got I've got two of these things uh, one over there with the dead battery pack which I took apart already. I might show you that now, actually. A little close up of the board. These are, the, these are the cells inside the cells. They don't even fully populate them. There's like, I could fit another battery in there. I think this, this cell, I got this particular cell out because I think it had a problem with one of these. Let me zoom in, I think that one got hot. That one's definitely leaked, there's some kind of leakage on it. And also that one leaked. I think all the others are all right. So there you go. Um, the only way I think I'm gonna fix this is one of them Seplos beer messes. That should uh, sort it out, I think, hopefully. But we'll see, fingers crossed. See you later.